Howdy, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September and see what's going to be happening for you today, Gemini, all right? So be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign to get the full understanding of what's going to happen in your life, Gemini, and let's begin your tarot reading today. And be sure to check out the top right-hand corner of your screen for my monthly pick-a-card tarot reading, all right? So you have the Cherry Energy coming in for you, Gemini, all right? The Cherry Energy... Ooh, I like this for you, Gemini, because this is letting me know that you, whatever efforts that you've been putting in right now, Gemini, this is like, there's a cause and effect here. All right. So maybe you start, you came into this month, Gemini, with the intention of every single day, you're going to walk for 30 minutes or lift some dumbbells or every single day. Like, I feel like it's something that something associated with your routine, Gemini. I feel like it's something that you've decided to commit to daily. All right. For those that have made that decision there. All right. The cherry energy is letting you know that it's going to be ramping up for you. It's going to be something that's cumulative. That's going to build on it. So each day that you go through September, Gemini, continuing on doing with whatever it is that you're doing. Let me know in the comments. It's going to reach a climax point. All right. So please don't feel as if you're wasting your time doing this. Right. Yeah, of course. Of course we get this for you, Gemini. Of course. Without question. Of course. You have the eight of wands. All right. The eight of wands, Gemini, is a card of quick success. Like, of course, you would get this with the chariot. The this represents movement this represents travel whatever you know for some of you gemini's you might end up getting to a point where you're able to move move countries for some of you move states move like i get the sense of just movement all right we'll clarify this more but it's like for you right now gemini i like this energy because it's like there's something different about you so there's something different in the air there's something different with the efforts that you're putting in right now maybe something motivated you to doing this it doesn't matter all right could be revenge could be pettiness could just be wanting to change your life because you don't want to you can't live your life in the same way that you've been living it anymore all right whatever this decision is uh gemini whatever this awareness that has come in it's really building a story it's building to be something beautiful and it's going to be five of cups energy where it's like you there is this sense of having to walk away from certain things gemini i am going to be honest maybe it's a something as simple as walking away from the bad habits that you've had beforehand smoking gaming all right maybe you've having to you, during this process gemini while you are healing yourself while you are putting in this effort you're ending up having to walk away from situations people that were um impeding on your success all right i do feel like for you gemini this time next year your life is going to be extremely different in the sense of like either where you live where you work who you talk to all right there's something in one of those three areas gemini there's something that's going to be vastly different if not all of them all right if not all of them the energy that i get with this is that and maybe i'm alone in this but when i graduated high school gemini I didn't even st like the moment that we threw up our caps. I didn't even throw up my cap. I just walked out the door and I was like, all right, let's go. I don't want to be here. Let's not get in the car pile up. Right. I didn't say goodbye to my friends because I knew I wasn't going to talk to most of them again. And that's kind of the energy I feel for you, Gemini's. There's a sense of like a graduation. And by you graduating, you're just like, you know what? I don't even mess with y'all no more. I don't even want to talk. Y'all ain't y'all irrelevant to me. This is a period. This is a chapter that I'm moving on from. That's what I feel like is happening for you, Gemini. You are graduating. <clears throat> Be expecting this Knight of Swords is complementing this Chariot energy. All right. So be expecting, Gemini, during this month, things are going to pick up greatly. All right. The Knight of Swords represents, I might have called this the Knight of Wands. Apologies if I did. But the Knight of Swords is unexpected events, a lot of unexpected things happening. All right. When it's paired with this Chariot energy here and then with this Eight of Wands, it's like there's all this movement. It's almost as if, like, for a while, there's like a dam like an energetic dam, like something that was blocking the flow of things, the blocking the flow of like your creation of your manifestation, like whatever that is, something was like blocking it. And now that that access is, that block is being removed, like the energy is just like rushing out. The water is just like rushing out. Does that make sense? So it's like really September is going to be action packed for you. <clears throat> we have the high priestess card on this eight of wands. So 
Gemini, this is going to be your test, ultimately. All right. I feel like this month is going to be a test for you. And I feel like you know it as well of uh, being like, all right, I got to stick to this commitment. I'm going to stick to these commitments. I'm going to really change my life here because I feel like for you, Gemini, there's something there's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like you always you always knew your potential right but i feel like for whatever the choice is like you never pushed yourself to the maximum potential that you ever could right like you like it's one of those things where it's just like you know what i could be a bodybuilder if i wanted to be a bodybuilder i just don't feel like putting in the effort and so i feel like at this time for you gemini this is a test for you be like all right if you want to be a bodybuilder let's do that all right, let's do that. Let's get that going. You have the judgment card coming in on this five of cups. That's what I was noticing here. When I noticed the high priestess, I was like, all right, you know, the high priestess has is the one that is that has that spiritual connection with the other side, right? And so when I see this judgment energy on this five of cups, this lets me know that spirit is taking an active role in this. It's almost as if like you made a deal with your spiritual team, with your ancestors, Gemini, and you're just like, all right, like I need your help this month. I'm going to be doing everything possible to get to a specific destination, to accomplish a specific thing. And I need your help. Right. And if you haven't done that, Gemini, I strongly suggest you to do that. All right. Because it's for, I feel as if and I could be misinterpreting the energy, darling, but it, this gives me like an impression of where it's just like there's a sense of urgency. This I don't want to say desperation, but it's the sense of where it's just like, all right, I, I'm, it's like you, desperation is too much of a negative tone to it. But it's like you want to reach a specific point now or like as soon as possible like you're not wasting any time that type of way if you haven't already asked your spiritual team your ancestors it's not my business how you practice who you talk to what you connect to darling it does not impact my life but i do feel like having some type of spiritual influence would really help you out a lot it would really help they would be bringing forth some of these opportunities for you they would be able to help push along this energy and to direct this energy to create what it is that you're trying to quite literally create here let's get these oracle cards you have a full moon in virgo in capricorn as well as scorpio three full moons you are good enough the end of a tough cycle and it's time to release negativity you are good enough. It's time to release negativity and the ending of a tough cycle. All right, Gemini. Definitely a new sense of who you are, right? I feel like for you, Gemini, this, what has inspired you is this sense of like there's something negative that happened in your past maybe it was like a person that's what i was getting where it's just like maybe it's like revenge is inspiring you proving someone wrong is inspiring you but it's like something something happened in the recent past to gemini that caused the sense of being like all right i gotta change my life now i gotta do things now right whatever that is and this is what ends that tough cycle it's almost as if spirit helped you gemini reach this rock bottom it's like once you, now that you hit this rock bottom or what you feel is rock bottom at this current point in time now that's what's inspiring the change i feel all right now is what's inspiring the change i feel like as as well gemini there is like this message i'm just randomly getting is that there's going to be someone that wants to like lean on you or like have your support in some way and i feel like it's going to make you uncomfortable having someone perceive you from a place of like of authority do you ever know you know uh gemini you know when it's like you're trying to adjust to being an adult and having understanding being like wow everyone's seeing me as an adult and tr speaking to me and treating me as one that's the kind of realization i get here gemini where it's just like you have like a a moment where it's just like wow someone is coming to me for help about this they see me as an authority or as a mentor or something to provide like i feel like someone's going to be making you like internally blush or have butterflies because you're just like oh wait a minute you know that helps how you see that you are good enough right you start seeing your understanding more of your value you have the period the period card girl <laughs> you, have, you have the penguin <laughs> i can't you have the penguin card coming in the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing gemini <laughs> yes y'all got the period card honey y'all about to be on your period honey 
the period of take notes i want to be getting back into this now um the penguin card as well as the full moon and capricorn share that similar message gemini and the reason why i point this out is not because it's like you know in any other place in your life when someone repeats themselves constantly it's annoying right gemini but when it comes to tarot cards when it comes to your oracle cards having that same repetitive message is actually the best thing to see because as a tarot reader you know i've been doing tarot readings for how long now 12 years now um and consume like being a you know consuming tarot readings having cards that repeat themselves show to you that it's not just by chance that you have that one card right so having two different cards representing the sense of like ending of that tough cycle you know i'm not just saying it just to say it right you have the blue heron card coming in making a stand for what you believe in gemini and do what you feel is right in spite of judgment or disapproval from other people it's interesting for some of you guys it's this sense of where what it is that you're having to walk away from was like you're unable to feel like your most unapologetic on like authentic self gemini maybe there's certain traits of your personality that you feel like you had to uh taper down or maybe like you never felt comfortable enough to like have like a social media being around people because they always made you feel silly for being like oh why do you feel like you could have a business or whatever right you have the walrus card coming in as your third card which is remaining vigilant about your current situation pay pay attention to signs and omens that dict that let them dict and let them dictate your choices my goodness here remain vigilant about the current situation gemini and pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices okay so what i want to be pointing out with this here is just like you know you have two different cards here where it's like taking a stand essentially here not taking any shit gemini right uh not taking any crap but also this judgment card i always have see the judgment card as being very spiritually charged or spirit is taking an active role in your physical life to work on things right these two cards share that message right the walrus card is saying is like hey we're going to be leaving signs and omens from your spiritual team to guide you and this judgment energy is confirming that as well do you understand that that correlation and why i felt the need to bring those two up gemini because i feel like for you like things are really ramping up but it's through the choice of like through some specific choice that you made like you have to make the choice gemini in this in the sense of being like all right i want to make the choice and change my my health and committing to that and it's the sense of once you show that commitment they're going to just be helping you along the entire time first quarter moon speaking your world into being right i mean this is exactly what it is that you're doing right now gemini is it not and this is your moon your first quarter honey right speaking your world into being here i feel like that's what you're finally doing it's like the world that you've always envisioned for yourself even as a little kid like you haven't ever been able to fully live that life that you've envisioned but now that you are finally making the decision gemini to like really push yourself oh all is gonna be well honey that's what i can say on that all is gonna be well let's do one last moon oracle and then you got this aries one stepping into your power okay okay <laughs> okay gemini these oracle cards are just regurgitating exactly what it was i was saying like you stepping into your power by you stepping into your power you're having to move on from certain things trusting everything's going to be well and taking that um take uh taking that first step into really living in your highest potential is how i see this as all right so let's see if there's any other final thoughts here gemini when it comes to your tar weekly tarot reading today ultimately darling like again like let me know what it is that y'all have committed to this month and really working on because that is the key that is definitely the key here all right, so Gemini, you got the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, fabulous, the Seven of Swords, as well as the Page of Swords coming in. <clears throat> All right, so Gemini, I the only thing I want to be saying is don't be frustrated. All right, it's one of the, your journey is going to be overwhelming sometimes. Your journey is going to at some point in times be like, I don't know how I'm going to make it until the end of the month. Even for some of you, you're just like, you know what? I started out with good intentions, darling. I, I said I wanted to lose 10 pounds this month and do all these things. Like, I'm just more so worried for you, Gemini, in terms of just like overwhelming yourself and then shutting down. Because 
because you're not seeing the prog progression immediately. All right. The seven of pentacles is that gardening card, right? It's usually representative of like the tree of life. But you think about like a garden, right? You're planting the seeds and it's a card of nurturing. The more that you nurture those plants, the be better they grow, right? And hopefully you have a good harvest from it, right? Six of Wands is my favorite card in the Minor Arcana, Gemini, because it's that fame and victory, that fame and fortune card, right? Promising if you work at these plants that you're going to have an insane harvest, so while, yes, there are going to be times where you feel overwhelmed, where you feel like you're not doing any, like actually progressing or where you feel like you piled on too much. All right. Even while you feel like there's too much going on, you still continue through because you know at the end of this destination that the fruits of your labor is going to happen, whatever it is for you, Gemini. All right. So that's the reading that I have for you today, darling. Let me know in the comments below how this resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And I love you so much, Gemini. Bye, darling.